Laura Scott, I'm welcome to you live from Oahu. I'm on the North Shore. It is April 25th, 2015, Ahukai Beach, also known as Bonsai Pipeline, right behind me. It's 8:46 in the morning. We're talking about what you can learn when you do a ride along with somebody. Now, you know, being in the co-pilot seat doing a ride along is pretty cool because you get to see a lot of things that happen that you might not have deciphered or understood previous. And so it gives you the opportunity to just sit there and watch and go, it's kind of like I'm watching TV, but I get to take mental notes or write down some notes of what this guy's doing right or what he's doing wrong. And one of the things is their body language. You know, for, so for the first thing is, somebody who's gonna be fluid at a good conversation, they're not gonna be jerky. Everything's just gonna seem like it's fluid, like it's supposed to be in place. Now, the second thing is when people get nervous, they start tapping on things, they, they, they lose their eye contact, you know, they, they may get like scared and lean over the table and sit over the top of the table. Now, I gotta share with you, I had a big problem with that when I first started doing sales. And you know, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm, 6'2", 260 pounds, I could be pretty intimidating. And I was doing in-home sales and, you know, it would be like things weren't going right. And I would, like, for lack of better terms, I'd pout, I'd cross my arms and I put my, my, almost my entire body over the edge of the table and I wasn't paying attention, but I'm leaning forward and the people are like leaning way back. Who <laughs> was freaking them out. So watching somebody's body language can really help. Now, it's not just your job to watch the body language of the salesperson, watch the body language of the buyer. Cause they, you know, there's typical patterns of them, you know, wanting to get stuff done. They could start wringing their hands. They could start, which wringing their hands usually could be a good thing. You know, it's like a little bit of nervousness. It's about money. It could also be a bad thing cause it's about money. And the second thing is, the, you know, watch if you can see their breathing pattern, but be careful that you're not staring at body parts that can get you in trouble, right? So the other thing is to watch to see if they start tapping when it starts getting towards the end of the presentation, if they're getting nervous about what's going on. And, you know, here's the thing. If you ever watch, like, uh, shows that, that sell at pawn stores, like uh, uh, Pawn Stars or Hardcore Pawn, you know, there's something that happens in the negotiation process where people start stroking their chin when they're thinking about doing something, or they start rubbing their head like, ah, ah. And one of the coolest things that you could do as a salesperson is watch as people negotiate back and forth and just watch their body language. You know, the first time listen to what they're saying, the second time watch their body language, the third time listen to what they're saying, the fourth time watch their body language, the fifth time watch both those things. Because you know, it could become overwhelming if you're trying to look at too much stuff at one time, all right? So just watch the body language of the person who's doing the sales, watch the person of the body language who's supposed to be buying, and there's definitely things that you could pick up. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe, then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Scott Savabell coming to you live from North Shore of Oahu. Only Scott Bell, Summonal. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.